Okay, so this is the condition before we do the water proving on top of the water tank here. So you can see a lot of uh, stones, a lot of uh, dust. And those are the mold as well. So basically, like these are things we need to clear it off. We need to um, scrub it off and also clean it off first before we apply the layer of waterproofing. So this is the condition before we perform the waterproofing. So what we are trying to do now, we are on top of the locations where the donkey is. So what we are going to do is to clean up all those big stones. Try to clean up later. We will do this after we clean up all the big stones. All this time. We need to scrub off this mold before we apply the waterproofing. Remove all these mold first because this is the one you need to remove all clean off before we perform the waterproofing. Otherwise, the waterproof will not stick the wall and you might come out easily. So, this, this is the one. And so this is all the dust that later we will use the vacuum to clean off first and the metal floor and then we can start apply the waterproofing. Yep. So this is the conditions of the second floor actually. So let's start the cleaning process then we will do the waterproofing later see you again bye okay after uh, i think half an hour cleaning i managed to collect the whole pack i think stone and dust and grasses and as of now later we use the water to to clear off some dust up over here so this is all the conditions after i clean up the mold and also the dust and I remove all the blockage that is the big one from there so that I later can easily apply the waterproofing okay okay so I'm bothered so now I'm using the hose to clear off all the dust before I start applying waterproofing I do need to wait for it to dry a bit wet but after a bit wet I can start to apply already okay so basically this is the first day after I wash clean up and then this is the second day sorry and I'm going to apply this Nippon Paint Flex 200 acrylic waterproofing so this what we're going to do is that this is the component I'm going to use and I'm going to apply the first layer let it dry for one hour or 30 minutes second layer then let it dry for another one hour then we'll apply <coughs> third layer. So this is the location that I already cleaned up. Yeah, our neighbor already applied the waterproofing, so this is our turn to apply it. Okay, let's start.
that is how you apply it. You need to put just started from the team of this story and how you can apply to the, the location that you want to give you. Normally, I'll do the corner first, then I'll only do the floor. So I do from this side and this here. Okay, so basically, I'm going to do the first ply. So the first ply. And tell you the first ply will done it. stone but see how you first ply to watch or tell you apply to some apply to Okay, so the first ply is to watch or tell you to apply to some apply to Okay, so the first Okay, just continue. Okay, this is how the <coughs> waterproofing first layer. So basically, I will apply because it's already dry. I will apply the second layer. I apply entire thing. This is the first layer and how it looks like for now. Do that. I think I use almost half of it for the first layer because it's you need to cover a lot of uh, details. The second layer will be much faster because it's on the surface and uh, the layer as well. Okay, let's continue. Okay, so this is another side of it. So I'll just show you what I have done for the first layer. Let's continue applying the second layer. Let's see how it goes. Okay, I have finished applying the second layer. And it's the finishing product. You can apply the layer if you want, but I am out of uh, waterproofing, so I just apply two layers. I think it's strong enough. Okay, we have successfully completed the waterproofing for this second floor funky area. Yep, I just let it dry and happy trying. Thank you.